if you're ready to take your outreach to the next level this 2026 this is the tool for you it's called linked helper and it's going to help you do the outreach in linkedin best of all it's a standalone application that's going to mimic human interaction to contact like follow message and a whole lot more which is what i'm going to show you right here now getting started is easier than you might think first off just go ahead and grab a free trial right now download the application but because this is a standalone application so it's not like a gimmicky chrome extension or a browser this is a standalone application which i've already installed now currently they have great reviews so that tells you that this is not a gimmick or a toy it's an actual tool that's gonna run your outreach really easily with automation so let's go ahead and jump into our linked helper application and the idea to connect in linkedin helper is super easy First off, you're going to be greeted with this application dashboard where you're going to be connecting your LinkedIn account. Now, if you have several LinkedIn accounts, you can go ahead and connect them right here and go ahead and kick it off by starting it off right here. Now, the best part of all is that it's straightforward and easy to add an account. You're going to need to add your email, password and select the time zone, and it's going to connect automatically. The idea is to mimic human interaction so you don't get detected and you don't risk your LinkedIn account. That is where LinkedIn Helper really stands out. They also have a proxy feature. So if you want to set that up right here, just go ahead and click on add proxy, set up the details and you'll be good to go. This is especially useful when you're going to use multiple LinkedIn accounts so it doesn't get detected as a bot or something like that. Now they have a detailed document right here where they ran some tests where you want to check that out. Link provided in the description. So they tested $2,000 worth of proxy testing experiments, and you'll be able to check out all the details right here and a detailed Google sheet that you can check out right here to see which one performed the best and which one is the best fit for the LinkedIn usage. Okay, so let's go jump into LinkedIn accounts. Now, once you connect, you're gonna kick it off right here. In this case, I'm already connected. It's gonna take you to this other dashboard. Now, this is like inside of this particular account. Now, to get started, you can go ahead and jump into campaigns. You can see there's tabs right here. So I'm in campaigns and I can go ahead and create a new campaign. Let me go ahead and do that right now because the idea is to show you that this is super easy to use. Now, go ahead and name your campaign. In this case, I'm just going to say test for video and I'm going to select the campaign template that they have available already. Now I can go ahead and tweak these campaigns in the workflow. I can make it more complex. I can make it more simple. It's up to you how you want to use it. But there's several things that you can do here. For example, you can empty a campaign. You can invite and follow. You can message a sequence, export profile information, in mail sequence, data enrichment. And there's so many of these. In this case, I'm going to use a really simple one which is the follow profiles. This one will follow your second and third degree connections. I'm going to run this one just to show you how it's super easy to do. All right. So let's go ahead and continue with, with this template. Let's go ahead and select our profile and you have several ways to get started. Okay. So you can go ahead and search a page. That's like the easiest way. You can go to my network page, a school alumni page, company pay, people, and it's going to open up that section and you can select what you want to kick off. In this case, the follow. All right. You can also use Sales Navigator if you have access to that, the recruiter and talent, or the LinkedIn URL. In this case, I'm gonna do a search page and it's gonna ask me to collect profiles and start a campaign. Now, I can set the filter right here in case I wanna turn this on. So let's go ahead and got it. I have all the filters here. I wanna do second and third. Let's go ahead and show results. Here we go, we got the results. Now I can go ahead and kick off the collect option here. Now, what is it going to do? It's going to take its time. It's going to act as a human. It's going to go to the search bar. It's going to search for the specific profile. It's going to jump to the profile and you'll see how it's going to work. So let's give it a few seconds, jump to the third page. And again, it's going to scroll to grab those profiles. Here we go. And I'm going to stop it. I, I don't want to scroll anymore. I'm going to kick off the campaign. So right now, total profiles are 30. Let's go ahead and start the campaign. I manually stopped the campaign just to give you an idea to kick this off even faster. Okay, so right now it's going to do a search. Here we go. Go in the search bar, type in the, the first profile that it's going to follow. See how it's scrolling. It's looking around. It even went past the actual profile and it came back because it's mimicking a human interaction. So now it jumped to the profile. Here we go. Clicked on more. Going to follow. 
and boom we are done with the first one you can see the little green mark here you followed rodolfo leiba in this case and he's now followed we have the first profile now again it's gonna run the search it's gonna type in the, the next name and it's gonna do things manually but you can see it takes it time but you can see it takes its time to do the execution that way it doesn't get detected as an automation system now in this case i'm going to stop the campaign we got a completed one we got successful no failed as of now it's going to search for the next profile but i'm going to stop it right now just to give you an idea that that just kicked off we are now using the automation as soon as you connect your linkedin profile select the campaign and kick it off now that's one of the type of campaigns that you can run here there's several of these campaigns right here where you can select what you want to use even a message sequence you can go ahead and kick this off you can go ahead and use ai to help you write the message so we got for example the message right here i can go ahead and type it in i have the ai message to help me i can use spin text which is the variables that we can use so if it grabs the name it can input it right here so several available features in this case let's go ahead and jump out of this but you can kick off the campaign just like that let's go back into campaigns because there's more to cover now let's go back into the all the one which i ran already you can see that there's a workflow in the workflow we can customize the workflow to add more actions customize the actions and even make it more powerful as you go along so that's a workflow you got a builder where you can add more actions there's several available actions that you can run right here you got the profile list and we have our execute a list processing the process in this case i've processed these profiles already i can go into detail to each one of these for example if i want to check out chris i'll just go ahead and select it i have their details their name their last name show on linkedin i can add to i can download i can find the email for this profile i can send to a crm straight from here so several available options let me quickly show you send to crm you have several available options to send to crm plus their settings so several available options here in the campaigns you can also edit the campaign limits that means that if you feel that it's going too fast or too slow you can customize it right here but be aware that you don't want to go too fast you want to keep it as their default i mean that would be my recommendation the default but if you want to make it slower faster you have all the available options here in the limits you also have working hour settings the actions interface and external crms that you want to connect to right here now there's more features available in the plugin store what does that mean most of these are already installed you can see here what they do if you find that you don't want to use one of these you can go ahead and uninstall it in case you don't want to have a big list of campaign templates add-ons already added there but they're available here and there's more that aren't installed already so you can see here action extensions you can add these for example tagging a system postpone an action start actions that delays and just go ahead and install them and they will be available to you to start using and there's several of these that you can install that's going to make linked helper even more powerful so that's for the plugin store if you want to use linkedin just go ahead and jump into the linkedin tab and you can straight off use it straight from here you got your dashboard for the daily activity linkedin only activity and the message and replied activity straight from here and this is just like the tip of the iceberg of everything that linked helper can do there's several more features available here including diving deep into each one of the campaigns that you can create but I mean, getting started is super easy and having this standalone application where it mimics a human is a gem, if you ask me. Now, if you wanna check out Linked Helper, go ahead and jump into a free trial right now. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Grab a free trial, download it, and kick off Linked Helper right away. Link provided in the description, and that is a wrap.